In this video, I'm going to walk you through the Canva interface and get you familiar with some of the basic Canva features that will help you when designing. My name is Andrew Akwase. In this channel, I share my tips, design hacks, and trainings to help you design graphics that promote, build, and scale your business online using just your smartphone. If that aligns with your interest, please hit the subscribe button below and turn on the notification also. Rest assured, you'll be the first to get notified whenever I post a new video on my channel. When you sign into Canva or you open an account, this is the home page of your Canva. This is how the home page looks like. Let's say we want to start a new design. You can come to this plus button, click on the plus button. When you click on the plus button, you have different dimensions that you can use here. But if you are designing just the social media graphics that you want to use for WhatsApp or Facebook, generally you can use the you can use the size of a square. You can use any dimension like uh, you go to costume, click on costume size. You can use 4,500 by 45. You can use 4,000 by 4,000. So most of the time I use 4,000 by 4,000. So you can put in your dimension here. 4,000 by 4,000 then you click on create new design so it's going to take you to a fresh page a new page now this is okay it's going to show you templates these are templates of different designs so I'm not going to show you how to edit templates I want to show you how the various features on Canva looks like so this is these are templates that you can edit and use for any of your designs then you have elements under the elements you have lines and shapes you have graphics you have stickers you have photos videos even audios you have frames picture frames that you can use then you have gallery this is the web app uh, this is the um, sorry this is the mobile app uh, canva interface it's almost also similar with that of the web version which you can use on google chrome the only slight difference is that uh, like for example now it you, you it can take you directly to the gallery of your phone if you want to up do, upload any image to canva unlike the web version the web version is going to it does not have this gallery function which means if you want to upload any image you have to upload it to the canva your canva library first so this is upload this is gallery gallery takes you directly to your phone memory to select any image you want to select as you can see it's trying to load all to access my gallery okay as you can see this is my phone gallery so but for the web version if you want to upload any image you come to upload when you go to upload as you can see these are what i've uploaded on my this is what i have on my canva library so this is all what i have uploaded to my canva then you also have if you want to upload let's say for example you want to upload you click on upload media that is under images then you select what you want to upload it will upload and click on it and it will upload to canva also too you can upload videos you can upload audios also too as you so wish so let's go to text you have text you have the text effects you have different uh, pre-installed text effects that you can use but let's start from the basic you can either click on add the heading add the subheading or whatever so let's click on add the subheading add the subheading so this is my text that i've added to my design so the first feature you see here beside the plus icon is edit the edit button when you click on edit you can edit whatever you want to edit so i've clicked on edit now let me type in something learn how to design with your phone with ease okay so that is what i have typed you can drag your text you can you, you see what i'm holding so you can use it to move your text around then also if you want to collapse the font click on this on the side 
sorry click on the side okay you can zoom in if you cannot i have a grip on uh, what you want to do you can zoom in and click on this side to collapse the font as you so wish which i'm doing now huh? as you can see i'm zooming in and zooming out if you zoom if you zoom in it will enable you to hold the anchor point very well so that you can adjust as you wish so i can also drag the corner to reduce the font or increase as you see what i'm doing now i'm dragging it so that is that then the next one i can choose to delete let me delete so i've deleted now i want to undo what i've done if i want to do that i'll come to this top corner I'll come to this top corner and click on this uh, icon you see that I've, uh, I, I circled there. So after clicking on that, you see it will take you back to your previous uh, action that you have done. So so also the next feature is duplicate. You can duplicate your text. As you can see that I have done, you can duplicate. I've deleted it back. Then you have font. You can change your font. So you are, I have different there are different types of fonts on Canva you can change you have several types of fonts you can use for your design let me change the font to okay let's have something like this okay that's that then the size font size you can change the font size as you as you wish to fit your design the color with the next feature is color if you have a brand color you have the S code of the brand color if you want to change change the color you can come to this plus icon here when you click on it it's going to show you where you can input the s code this place just click on it and paste the s code there also the next feature you will see on the web um, on the mobile app version is the pick two it's not present in the web version on uh, the web version on chrome if you are using a mobile phone it's not come it's not uh, present there but here on the mobile app uh, version you can use the pick tool to pick color for that text as you can see I'm, I'm selecting the top of this place which is blue so i'll click on done i've changed the color so, or you can just paste your the s code of your brand color if you like so you have other colors here you can change to okay so that is the color then we have the format the format you can italicize you can underline you can make all of them uh, in caps then you can also align also to to the left to the right or justify then you also have a uh, bullet if you want to add bullets you can click on that or you want to add numbers so that is that about format then you come to text effects text effects we have text effects we have style we have different style we have shadow you can play around the shadow you can play and adjust as you wish so that is the shadow effect on canva then lift this also appears to be like uh, some kind of uh, shadow so you can use any of them to tweak your design as you wish. Then we have the hollow, the hollow effect. That is the hollow effect. Then the splice. This is the splice also too. You can adjust and tweak. We have the echo. We have the echo. We have the glitch. We have the glitch. Then the next is the neon, neon effect which you can also use then we have the background if you want to change the background um feel as you can see so you cannot tweak and adjust if you want to if it suits what you want to do so that is the text effect you have on canva then if you want to remove the text effect let's go back to the text effects come to style then click on none so it will remove all the text effects you have done then also under the effect we have shape if i want it to be curved i come under um, shape then click on curve as you can see then you cannot adjust as you like you can adjust it as you like so that is curve so let me take out the effects and click on none 
so back to what we have there then we have the transparency as you can see you can try make your text transparent or even shapes you can make the shapes or text transparent then position you can use position to centralize your text set it at the middle of the page or bottom or left as you wish all right so that is that then uh, you have the nudge button the nudge feature is to help you to move the text gently if you don't want to move it greatly or you don't want to drag it you can use the nudge button to shift whatever item you want to shift so that is that about the text effect then the next one we have uh, shapes let's look at uh, ele under elements we have different types of shapes so see all oh, we have shapes here so let me click on this let me click on this box shape so that is shape so you have different types of shape we can duplicate okay let me delete that then come to color the field color you can change the field color then you have the style the, under the style you have the border width if i want borders around the shape that i have selected i can add it i can add the borders then the corner if i want it to be co the corners to be curved the beads so i can come here and uh, tweak it as you can see so i want to change the color of the border now the border color click on the border color let's select um let's just use any color just for demonstration sake okay blue as you can see so i want to increase the border color the the i mean the border width so the border width is what i have increased as you can see so that is part of the shapes uh, the future you can see on canva then what else again okay, let me show you how to let's say for example i want to group this this font together with uh, the the shape what you do is that you hold down any of the two or any of the items you want to group then click on select multiple when you click on select multiple then select all the items you want to group then click on group group so it will group the items together so you can move them anywhere you want to move them to then you can also ungroup if you wish so that is that that is uh, th those are some of the basic future you have on canva that you can use on your design then finally i want to show you the top at the top bar we have here you can also save if you click on uh, this save uh, button here at the top right corner you click on download let's say for example we are done with our design we want to download this is where we come to yeah. then we can select we have different format we have JP, jpeg the png format the pdf standard pdf print and so on and so forth so normally you can choose select either png or jpg if you are if what you want to post or what you design is for social media you can just use any of the two options then you click on download and click on download your design will be downloading as you can see on your screen preparing your design for download so it has been downloaded now so you can go and check your design in your gallery you will see it there so those are the basic few shows that we have on canva all right everyone here we go if you have any question or comments or contribution you can drop them in the comment section also if you are new to my channel please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification button so that you won't miss out on subsequent new training videos that i'll be dropping on this channel that we also help you design better thanks so much for watching and i will see you in the next video